Show of hands here. How many people here are current BPPRs or past BPPRs? Show of hands. Okay, great. Well, I'm here to tell you how to take great club photos. So the question I have for everybody, and if someone wants to answer this question is, what's the best camera to use when taking club photos? Who wants to take a stab at this question? Bill? The camera you, wanna... you have? Yeah, what? Yes, Matthew answered it. The one you currently have. So Matthew passes go and he gets to collect $200. So whether you have a full-fledged camera, a smartphone, or a computer, I'm here to show you how to take good club photos with two of the three of those items. What I'm not here to show you is how to take pictures like this or tell you about depth of field or things of that nature. What I am here to tell you about is basically how to take good photos with your cell phone and your computer. For those of you who have phones, there's something called grid lines on your phone that most of you may not know about. That's something that uses what's called the rule of thirds, which I won't go into great depth about that. But what that's used for, that helps you keep your subject centered. And I don't mean center as in the middle, but I mean centered as far as perspective goes. And it also helps you keep your photo straight. So if you're not using a tripod, you make sure that your subject is somewhere in those grid lines so that your subject is also pretty straight. Now, feel free to write this down or take a screenshot. I'll, I'm gonna leave these up here for about 30 seconds. If you have an Android phone, this is how you access the grid lines on an Android phone. If you have an iPhone, this is how you access the grid lines on the iPhone. And I'll leave that up for about another 30 seconds. And then I will move on to the next screen. Okay, everybody good? I'm moving on to the next screen. Screenshots. You heard Frederick Allen ask about this earlier. So Frederick, I hope you're taking good notes or you're willing to take notes of these. For those of us meeting virtually like we are now, you can take photos of your meeting doing screenshots with your computer. So if you have a Windows computer, these are what you need to know if you have a Windows computer. Print screen is the most common one to use. I like to use what's called the snip tool or the snip and sketch tool. And basically what that does is that freezes the screen and then you basically just cut around it, trim around it and save it as a JPEG. Some ways you can find that on a Windows computer is look for the scissors icon on your desktop or you can type the word snip in the search bar. If you're a Mac user, these are the keys you're gonna use here, command plus three and command plus four, depending on how you want to save the screenshot. And I guess I'll leave this up here for about another 30 seconds, give people a chance to write notes, take a, take a photo of it, take a screenshot of it, and then I'll move on. Okay, we good, everybody? Can I get a thumbs up, Bill? I think, I think we're good. Matt, okay. So now I'm gonna go over some best practices. Now I'm gonna ask someone else who can tell me, Matt, if you wanna to try to answer this question, why do I have a thumbs down on the photo on the right? Your subject has closed eyes. You are correct. You, again, you get to pass go and get $200. I'm showing the arrow right there on where she has her eyes closed. That is why it is important to take more than one photo of the same shot. That's one of the most typical things you're going to run across when you take photos. And this is a, obviously if you're in a hybrid environment and you're taking photos in your club meeting room. So that's why it's important to take more than one photo of the same shot. 
You also want to take more than one photo of different shots, like your table topics master, your toast master, things of that nature for the same reason. Spice it up a little bit and have more than one photo to show of your club, whether you're meeting virtually or hybrid. You also want to remember not to have any busy or distracting backgrounds. You don't want to do any bad or blurry photos, hence why you want to take more than one photo. You want to have good lighting. And in a hybrid environment, you want to make sure that you show the hybrid screen somewhere in the background so that people know you're having a hybrid meeting. So if you post them on Facebook or your website and you're having a hybrid meeting, don't just say we're having a hybrid meeting. Show them pictures that you're actually having a hybrid meeting by showing that virtual screen with all the Zoom people on it. Now, if people want to take notes here, I'll leave this on for another 30 seconds and then I'll move on. Okay, can I get a thumbs up? We good? Can I move on to the next screen? Okay. These are examples of what I did using my computer taking screenshots. This top left corner is a member of a club called Find Your Funny Toastmasters. And I just did it in gallery view. And you can see here, the photo here in the top right is one of a hybrid club I belong to, where you can see the Toastmaster on the right-hand side and the virtual speaker speaking on the big screen. The bottom left here is another meeting at our virtual club with the table topics master speaking. And the one on the bottom right, right here, was a session that current international director, Margaret Page was putting on that I did a screenshot for. I personally like using speaker mode because I think it shows a better perspective. But if you wanna let people know that you have a lot of people, you can also do it in gallery, gallery view in Zoom. You also wanna do some photo editing to get your pictures to look good. I'm gonna talk about two of them and that's Snapseed and Adobe Photoshop Express. And don't get Adobe Photoshop Express confused with the non-Express version of Photoshop. They're two different versions. Snapseed used to be free, but is now $19.99 a month. And it's a little bit more high end than Adobe Photoshop Express. Adobe, Shop, Adobe Photoshop Express, used to be free as well. It is now $9.99 a month. Snapseed used to only be available on mobile devices. It is now available on mobile and computer as well as Adobe Photoshop. So let me end by saying that when it comes to taking photos and when people are trying to find your club, they're not looking for professional photos. What they're looking for is content and you see the information here. I'll let you guys Take a moment to take a picture of it. But what content is, is it's something, as I think her name is Jordan was saying, it's something that draws people to coming to your website. What do you have on there that's going to draw them to your website? Yes, it's going to be good pictures, but it doesn't have to be photo pictures with a blurred background or very enhanced colors. Just provide good content and people will find you to join your club. If you want to check out some of my work, you can go to my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash 3hstudios. Give me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. And I will turn things back over to our Toastmaster, Bill Maher. Bill, we cannot hear you. Well, thank you. Darn it. I said it so well, too. Now we're just saying how much I appreciate it because I teach digital photography and it's nice to know that I'm doing things right. You gave me some good ideas as well, so I appreciate that. Adam is going to lead us in some group feedback. Adam, go ahead and let's do this anticipation, get rid of some of our anticipation here. What's going on today? <laughs> okay, uh, here's what I want want you all to do. I put a link in the chat. Um, so go ahead and click on the link and 
provide one or two a uh, one or two word feedback for Fred. Like, what did you think about his speech? Like, what word would you describe to uh, use to describe his speech? In the meantime, I'm gonna share my screen, and if all uh, things go well, we will see some magic. Uh, okay. There you go. Helpful, challenging, innovative, considerate of audience. Yeah, I agree with that. Interesting, reassuring, creative. Screenshots are awesome. Lots of good feedback. More photos. Yep. Can't have enough photos. 